Hello and welcome back. Welcome to a place that the locals call the Marvelous City. Sejam bem-vindos a Rio de Janeiro. Welcome back to Addiction Football. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Derby Day in Rio. It is flu against fla, fla against flu. Not only is this considered the biggest derby in Brazilian football, also thanks to Botafogo's away loss last night, this is also the first against the last in Brasileirão. Flamengo up on top, Fluminense down at the very bottom. So on paper, this should be an easy one. But as we all know, sometimes cup competitions and derbies have their own laws. I am your host, Sasha Fox. Welcome to Addiction Football. Let's go. Rio, an absolute jewel of a city, is famous for many things. Some of the most iconic views and beaches, and this dude, amongst others, are home to Asidachi Maravillosa. Speaking about football, one doesn't even know where to begin when it comes to Brazil. They are the country that has won the most World Cups. Five times they have managed to lift the iconic Golden FIFA trophy for the first time in 1958 thanks to the services of Pelé, who simply remains known as Uhe, the King. The Maracanã Stadium, the current home of both Flamengo and Fluminense. The Fla Flu Derby in 1963, by the way, not only holds the Maracanã Stadium attendance record with a stunning 194,603 spectators supporting their clubs, it is also the world record for the highest attendance at a football match until today. And in general, the Maracanã holds most of the attendance records since the 70s and 80s, closely followed by Glasgow's Hampton Park back in the 1940s. While Flamengo and Fluminense both play their home games at the Maracanã nowadays, both clubs, however, have their own traditional home grounds. Welcome to Estadio Presidente Manuel Schwartz, or more commonly referred to as Estadio das Laranjeiras, after the Laranjeiras district of Rio de Janeiro it is located in. This baby was built in 1905 and is therefore one of Brazil's oldest football grounds. It is the original stadium of and still owned by Fluminense Football Club. Officially it holds just 2000 spectators but are you kidding me? At a game in 1925, they squeezed over 25,000 people into this thing. Welcome to Brazil! Flamengo's equivalent to Estadio das Laranjeiras is Estadio da Gavia, which holds 4,000 people. Let's go! One of the reasons this rivalry is such a heated one is because back in October 1911, a group of dissatisfied players from Fluminense left the club and went to Flamengo, which at the time had no football department. The first Fla Flu ever was played the following year on July 7, 1912 at Laranjeiras Stadium. Fluminense won this match 3-2 with 800 people in attendance. <laughs> Drinking cachaça at 11 a.m. Why not? Cheers. And another one right at Copacabana Beach. Let's live Rio in style. Cheers.
Maracanã. Maracanã is maybe 75% full, but it's loud. So I'm here with Andrew, a Scottish lad. And the dude flew here to Rio to watch Flamengo because why? It's cheaper than going to Germany. It's cheaper to come to Rio and to watch Flamengo than going to Germany to watch Scotland. minutes in I haven't seen much from Flamengo I wouldn't say Fluminense is the better team but Flamengo have to get the fuck out of their hand Football or not, Brazil has the best street food. Yeah. Mm. In the other game of the evening, Palmeiras beat Juventucci comfortably with 3 to 1, which probably means that the title race this year will be between Flamengo and Palmeiras, the current reigning champions, which is another rivalry in itself. As for Fluminense, who by the way are the current Copa Libertadores champions and have recently signed ex-Chelsea star Thiago Silva, are obviously still on the bottom of the league after losing Flufla and have 
On Monday afternoon, parted ways with manager Fernando Diniz. So this was my first football match in Brazil in 14 years because back then I watched Palmeiras against Santos in 2010 at the Pacaembu in Sao Paulo. And the only thing I have to say for people who want to come to South America in general to watch a match, do it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. And also, in order to keep watching full episodes of addiction football like this one, you can join the supporter section for just 99 cents a month or check out my other memberships for even better perks.